Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? And thank you so much for listening in to my podcast. I know I have a lot of listeners in California. I have a lot of listeners in Germany, a lot in Florida, and especially here where I am right now, which is Center City, Philadelphia. So thank you all so much for being here from all over the world. And I hope that you're gaining a whole lot of psychological and spiritual insight in your lives moving forward and uh, obviously benefiting from whatever life tips I have to share. So I did want to make an announcement in this episode here and that is that I'm having a couple of different events coming up soon. One is going to be an online tea leaf reading event, which the date is not set for that yet. So I suggest that you go ahead and subscribe to my newsletter by texting magic 810, all one word, to the number 22828. That's magic 810. Text that word to the number 22828 so you can get a notification when tickets become on sale to join in my online Zoom event. So that's going to be online. So wherever you are in the world, you're going to be able to purchase tickets to this event. VIP tickets will include your own tea leaf reading cup with your tea leaves included. Everyone who does come in for the event will need a list of instructions on how to set up their cup in order to have the reading done. So you will also be required to provide your mailing address in order to receive the products, which are VIP tickets only, and anyone for a general ticket is going to be emailed the set of instructions, but a teacup is definitely going to need to be required a smaller teacup preferably to be a part of the online tea leaf reading event also on may 15th i will be doing an in-person event and that's going to be in los angeles may 15th we're going to have a psychic fair first 50 guests will be receiving free gift bags with lots of different goodies in it such as crystals and smudge sticks and those who choose to have a reading done by me tickets are on sale now at Eventbrite but there will be multiple psychics and vendors there you have a couple of options you can go ahead and purchase tickets on Eventbrite and have your reading done by me, Christine Wallace, or you can go to my website and purchase entry fee tickets for $15, which will include the buffet and beverages, and you can browse around uh, multiple psychics and check, you know, see which one you feel good about and just choose from there. But like I said, for me, you're going to need to go ahead and purchase a ticket. The readings that I will be offering at the event are going to be a psychic and tarot card combination reading, a chakra balancing, and an aura cleanse, and also specific items for you to maintain the balance and the cleanse after your session is over. So it's basically one reading, 
with all of these extras all combined. So I'm sure that a lot of uh, people are going to love to have that service done. And I'm going to put the link to the Eventbrite tickets to see me uh, below, below in this, uh, in the description box at the end of this podcast or the podcast episode. So these are the couple of events that are coming up soon. So like I said, you should be subscribed to my newsletter to get notified. When you become a member on my website, psychicreadingstoday.com, you get lots of extra perks. You can get items sent to you in the mail. You're going to get, you know, coupons and discounts for services and products and uh, a bunch of downloadable items as well. Monthly distance healing videos live and on video pre-recorded. So you're going to get both of those and uh, lots of good stuff. But when you do become a member of my website you do need to engage with the blog post the forum post uh, social media and all of that and this is basically a part of a reward system so i hope to engage with all of you as website members i hope to see you in person for my upcoming event in Los Angeles, May 15th. We have not decided on a location yet, but as soon as that becomes available, it's gonna, of course, be closer to the date of the event because we do have a ways to go. The tea leaf reading event, like I said, will happen on Zoom Live. And that is gonna be a two-day event the Los Angeles event is going to be a one day event. So I just want to make sure that all of you have all of the information available to you and some reasons, good, really nice reasons to become a member here on my website, psychicreadingstoday.com. And again, thank you. I'm looking forward to these events. I'm pretty excited about it. I hope that you are as well. Uh, On one of my blog posts, I went into some history as far as, you know, when tea leaf reading started, so on and so on. So you can go ahead and check that out on my blog. I have not yet uploaded the uh, event for the tea leaf reading just yet on my website, but that's going to come like tonight or tomorrow. So I'm letting you guys know in advance. So moving forward with this episode, I believe I am uh, episode 147 at this point. And I wanted to talk a little bit about how we don't realize it but we can actually draw negative energies and bad spirits to ourselves. I don't think I've ever discussed this before on any of my previous episodes, but this does really happen. If you're experiencing in your life that whenever you try to connect with people, things are, you know, you find yourself in a situation where you see people pulling away from you. If you're having experiences with poltergeist in the home, seeing dark shadows, feeling very sad or depressed or heaviness on your shoulders, And if this kind of thing has been going on with you for more than a year or two, then I'm going to go ahead and say, if you have not yet, you very well might bring bad energy and bad spirits kind of welcoming them into your life. If you are in a negative mindset 
what happens is is that sometimes these negative spirits will in fact play with our minds and we are constantly 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 experiencing negative intrusive thoughts that you you know you function throughout the day they could pop up while you're just washing the dishes minding your own business and then boom there's this voice in your head kind of telling you terrible things about you like uh, uh, you're not any good at this causing you to second guess your goals as far as your future making you feel bad about yourself constantly negative every negative experience you've ever had is from your past is just like popping up on you and just putting you in such a negative state of mind because basically what you're experiencing is like a a verbal abuse so of course this is going to affect your mood and your overall performance at work and at home with family friends and whatnot and that energy other people will be able to feel now i am not saying that you are in fact a negative person and i'm not saying that negative bad things don't happen to good people they do all the time but what I am trying to say is when you are stuck in that mindset for such a long period of time and you're not finding yourself, no matter what you try to do, having a hard time healing, even with outside help, such as therapy and whatnot, and if things are not changing, it's very likely that you could have drawn some type of negative spirit your way which doesn't mean that there isn't a solution to that problem yes you can get help with that problem but what i find happening to a lot of people that do go through this kind of thing is they believe that these are in fact their thoughts now are some of us trapped by our own negative thoughts absolutely but once we start to recognize that this is our problem we find ourselves being in a position of power and being able to control them and break the cycle. But if you have realized and have come to a place in your life where you're feeling that, okay, so I am bringing on these thoughts myself, but you're still not able to manage or control them. There might be something a little deeper going on than just that. You may need spiritual help to try to clear that out of your way. And like I said, it, it, the good news is, is that it is in fact a solvable problem, but that is not your voice. It's actually the spirit kind of disguising itself as being you when it isn't so I just wanted to make my listeners aware of this possibility because this is my way of empowering you to have more awareness and more consciousness about what it is that's happening within if you're experiencing something like that, don't hesitate to reach out to me because I have helped many people get out of that. And when I see my clients, sometimes even after a few days, the turnaround for them can be really awesome. And when I see that happening in the first couple of days, it makes me feel really happy and them confirming that they are feeling a significant difference. So, yeah, you don't have to stay like that. Anything that is not coming from within, we can clear up spiritually. And whatever is coming from within yourself, we can also take care of that too. 
by giving some life coaching and tips and advice and guidance. So whichever way it's coming at you, I am here to empower you to overcome these things. So thank you so much for listening to this brief episode and I want to wish you all the very best of luck. Looking forward to seeing you at these upcoming events. Anyone who wants to participate in the Zoom tea leaf reading event can do so from anywhere in the world. So don't hesitate once those tickets become available to jump on board. You will be notified if you are subscribed to my newsletter. Simply go to your cell phone, go to your text option, type in the word magic, M-A-G-I-C, 810, magic 810. Text that over to number 22828. And you will be able to get a notification as soon as these events go live. Thank you so much. Again, good luck, everybody.